everyone, thank you for watching. In today's video, I'm so excited to do, it's gonna be a new Will I Buy It. This is my series that I post every single Wednesday where I chat with you over all the new makeup releases. I talk about what I'm interested in buying, what I've already bought, what I'm not so interested in buying. I always link my playlist down below as well as the community playlist. If you are new here, welcome. I love to chat about new makeup, try new makeup, and just chat all things beauty. So I hope that you will subscribe and let's go ahead and get started. Welcome, so I will start off with my outfit of the day. So today I just have on some jeans, some slippers, and a white bodysuit. Nothing too wild and crazy today. Uh, I didn't really do any filming on my makeup besides I'm trying out a new concealer and I did kind of like a wear test for that, which will be on my TikTok, which is by Samantha March, and I will chat about that a little bit further along in the video, but I just wanted to do like kind of like a classic eye look. I used my Makeup Geek single in creme brulee that I'm trying to hit pan on at my latest Project Pan video. Just went up yesterday. There's some surprising pan announcements in there. We have a goodbye in there that was pretty sad. The comments have been pretty funny today on a lip liner that I had to say goodbye to. Uh, so that video went up yesterday, but I used creme brulee. I used the Wild Child palette from ColourPop. I used a little bit of peach smoothie from Makeup Geek. Like, it just, I was just kind of having fun with makeup today. So I always link all of the makeup that I am wearing down below. And I kind of moved myself a little bit in the office, but I don't know, I'm getting very confused because I still feel like my room is echoey. Ever so often I get a comment about it, but like I can tell myself, but I don't know what to do in here. Uh, you know, people are like, you need to have furniture or put things on your walls or get a rug. And I'm like, dun, 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 dun. There's two desks, there's a bench, there's my dog's cave. I have hangings on the wall. I have a rug underneath one of my desks. I don't know. And then someone was like, it might be because you're more angled to the corner. Like normally I'm like over here, but like it may be if you're more straight on. So I tried to be more straight on today, but I still feel, I don't know if anyone has suggestions, let me know. But I don't, I don't know how to, there's no more space in here that I can put anything else in here. <laughs> so I'm just not sure what to do. And I'm starting to get a little bit flustered. Anyways, I think that is everything that I have to say for today. So let's just go ahead and jump in. The days are moving so quickly since we put our clocks forward, since we sprang forward. I swear it is a 316 and I feel like it's noon. I just the... <laughs> Let me go ahead and get started with by far what I got the most amount of tags on. Maybe let's take a guess what that is. Oh yes, it is the next round, Pat McGrath, Bridgerton. We are getting closer to Bridgerton season two. I've seen the trailer now like... Um, 27 times like I, I just kept watching it over and over again so I'm a huge Bridgerton fan so I'm very excited for the new season and to come out it's coming out right around my birthday the countdown is officially on my birthday is in one week one week on the 23rd woo -woo. next week we'll have to do a little special will I buy it video usually in my world that means that means a giveaway <laughs> so make sure you come back for next week's will i buy a video because i'm sure i'll either that or i'll just be like eating cake it'll be like a mukbang will i buy it while i eat birthday cake i don't know you know just like so many possibilities but uh, i'm very excited for bridgerton season two what i'm not so excited about is this collection and I want to be and I started to get so many tags on it I mean they were just coming in fast and furious and I was like oh boy what's going on what's going on I saw that Nicola Coughlin is um like a new face of of Pat McGrath which I thought was really cool you know she plays Penelope in the show which is definitely one of my favorite characters and I went down a hole like I am not someone who's a big show person a big movie person a big like movie star actresses like that's just not really my jam and when I tell you I became obsessed with Bridgerton I was watching everything on YouTube I mean this was also during quarantine so there's that but I was watching everything on YouTube, all like the behind the scenes and the interviews with the cast. And I just thought that she was so cool and so fun. Uh, so I was really excited to see that too. But the eyeshadow palette, so I bought the eyeshadow palette and the blush trio. The It was two blushes and a highlight. I bought that from the first collection. The eyeshadow palette, the red shade in there gave me an eye reaction. So that's not super uncommon for reds, purples, pinks uh, to give me an eye reaction. So it's not just Pat McGrath, but it was like, oh, okay, you know, it's only a six pan palette. I can only wear the five shades. I thought the other shades were definitely pretty. But now looking at this palette and it has two of those like pinky reds, I'm like, okay. So I think 
I would probably have the same issue with this palette and it just seems so similar to the other one that I'm like, I'm not really sure what happened here. With the six pan palettes, you have a limited amount of space to like make a splash and make a statement and I just, it could have gone in a different direction, but it's just in the same direction and I'm not, I like, I just, I wish it would have because to me, even if I really wanted this and if I didn't have that eye reaction, I still don't know if I would want to buy this because these are more expensive products and I feel like I'm buying something incredibly similar. So I'm super bummed about that. And then I'm looking at the blush palette, which once again, I got the two blushes and the highlight. So now in here, we have three blushes and a highlight. And I'm like, either this should have all come out at the same time and you could have, you know, mixed and matched whatever it is that you wanted to do, or they should have gone in totally different directions. I'm super bummed about this. And I know I was on a live chat with my members yesterday. We had our book club discussion, which was super fun. I do have YouTube memberships where I do a live chat every single month uh, over Zoom. Every other month is um, book club. And then I also do member exclusive videos. So there's always a link for that in my description box. And we were chatting about makeup at the end of the, of the book club discussion. And everyone was kind of saying the same thing. Like it looks very similar, but isn't the packaging so beautiful? And you know, a few girls were like, I think I'm gonna buy it just for the packaging. It's gorgeous, it's beautiful, don't get me wrong. But to me, it's just, it's not gonna be enough to get me to buy it. So I'm super bummed. I think if there's anything that I do grab, it is gonna be a lip product. Like that, I, I can see myself picking up one lipstick from this collection because I believe the first one didn't have lip products. This one does have lipsticks. The only issue though is it's the satin shine finish and I just prefer a matte lip. So I'm like, I don't know if the lipsticks are going to be a fave, but kind of want to grab one. I, re I, I really, really do like the packaging and then I kind of have like a full set for Bridgerton. You know, I have the eyeshadow palette, the blush and the highlights, and then a lip product. And then this collection also does come with the Velvet Coal Eyeliner. Right now I just see coming soon on the website, but I don't know, what do you guys think about this one? I know a lot of people seemed really excited, and so did I when I first saw, like when I first saw the sneak peek of like, there's another collection coming, I was like, yes, like what is it gonna be? But when I actually saw it, I was like, oh, Okay. okay, this next one isn't a new new release, but honestly, I was like, did I talk about this in a Will I Buy video? And I thought that I would just touch on it really quick because I did just receive this in PR. This is from Benefit and it is their new boing, 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 their Bright On Concealer. So it has this cute uh, like pencil packaging. So this one retails for $24. It says that it's supposed to visibly brighten under eyes, help hide dark circles with color correcting pigments, helps uh, seal in skin hydration with a serum like formula for a healthy looking under eye glow. I'm going to assume if I did talk about this one, I said that I wasn't going to buy it because the original I hated that concealer. I bought it because so many people were recommending it and I just could not get down with it. It just, not for me. I started seeing recently people talking about this bright on concealer and once again, so many people are saying how much they love it and I'm like, but I just got it yesterday in PR from Benefit and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and try it. So I did film that try on for my TikTok again, which is by Samantha March, but today's the first day that I am trying it. And I have to say, I was a lot more impressed than I thought that I was going to be. I thought it was very smooth. You know, I just, I've had it on for maybe like two hours now. So I'm gonna have to see how it lasts throughout the whole day, but it didn't feel as heavy or as drying as the original to me. It definitely has more of that serum like consistency. So I was like, okay okay so I just thought that I would sneak this one in here real quick because again I couldn't be sure if I did talk about this or not uh, but I'm curious if you have tried that new one from Benefit and I tested, tested out the shade Lychee. I guess I did not scoot over so I hope um, I was able to add in some of those of Pat McGrath photos. We're getting closer and closer to having a new collection with by Samantha March come out so my brain has been kind of solely focused on that and uh, also our taxes. So that's been fun. We were going over the taxes of the accountant. Not all, all with it right now. But let's see, it looks like we have a new collection coming from ColourPop. Looks like this was just announced. So this is the Daisy Does It collection. All right, so we have an eyeshadow palette, some glossy lip stains, Super Shock blushes, some Super Shock shadow duos, and the Creme Gel Liner will be available on March 17th. This is cute, obviously very springy. The packaging screams spring, which is very pretty. The Daisy's on there. The eyeshadow palette does it 
stir my makeup loins not necessarily it's pretty um, but I just I feel like it's not one of those that instantly calls to me like the ColourPop in the Limelight palette. I had to really convince myself to try to not wear that today. I know that I'm gonna wear it on Thursday the 17th, which is St. Patrick's Day. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing yet or if I'm even doing anything, but I'm gonna wear that palette that day. So I was like, okay, so I was like, give it a break. You've been doing green after green after green after green. Do something different. So I went back to my brown smoky eye, you know fine uh even like some of the super shocks i'm like yeah like i like the color pop super shocks but you know color pop releases so many collections typically what i say in these videos is unless something causes me a major double take or i'm like oh my gosh that one looks so amazing uh i tend to just not get get as hyped for them so nothing from this one really screams out to me I also see a new collection coming from Rem Beauty, which is Ariana Grande's makeup brand. It looks like there's going to be more to the collection. We just have this little reveal right here so far, which is these different eyeshadow palettes. So this is the Good Night and Go collection. will be available March 21st. So we have these three palettes that have been sneak peeked right now. And then there's some other photos that are like blurred out of what else is coming. You know, I haven't tried the brand yet. I don't mind the way that it looks. You know, it looks like very put together and thoughtful and all, and all the things. But it just didn't really scream me, my taste, my preferences. And then when I saw these palettes, my mind instantly went to like the Revlon palettes <laughs> that we set back in the day, like the CoverGirl palettes. And they would have like the little sponge applicator in there. And I just, I, I mm, shades are pretty kind of springy in here. It just did not call to me. I don't know. What are you thinking about that collection from Rem Beauty? Have you tried anything from them yet? I just can't say that that one looked interesting to me. I got quite a few tags on this new collection and these new eyeshadow palettes from my Give Me Glow Cosmetics. There is the Bad Mood versus the Good Mood. Deeper, darker shades on one side and a few lighter shades on the other. So right now this is $64. It says four quads in one. There's magnetic pans so you can rearrange them if you prefer. It is going to be $64. So, I mean, this looks very large. Um, two, what did I say? Two, four, six, eight, sixteen shades. And the, the pan sizes look larger. I got a lot of tags on this because this really is a color scheme that I like. The pinks and the purples, the shimmers in here look really beautiful. It's just one of those things where it's like, do I absolutely have to have this and have a larger eyeshadow palette? I've been trying to keep my palette collection a little bit smaller and really go through them. I've started some new series on my channel to help me like stay accountable with using my eyeshadows, trying to pan some of my singles. I just, as pretty as I think that it is, I don't think I have to get it. I am also planning to do a Sephora haul coming up. I've purchased a few things with the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. The Sephora sale is coming up as well. Um, I am taking myself on a birthday trip, so I'm excited about that. So it's like, do I have to buy all of the makeup? Probably not. I'm pretty excited to see there is a new release coming up from Auric. So this is Sam Ravendahl's, Sam Ravendahl's brand. This is the Plush Ritual Ceramide Lip Treatment. It has a soft vanilla flavor with a subtly sheer natural pink taupe color to enhance every lip shade. So this is going to be available the 18th and it is $32 at auriccosmetics.com. I am actually quite excited about this. I just am really curious where Sam is going to take the brand. I was a big fan of her first collection. I was a big fan of the holiday collection and I started to see some sneak peeks and I was like, oh yeah, I'm thinking this is going to be some sort of lip mask, which is funny because I feel like lip masks are very on trend right now. There's a lot of brands that have been coming out with them. Lawless Beauty, Sigma Beauty recently came out with some, uh, which I really do enjoy. I feel like I'm going to have to do, I don't want this to be an interesting video, like ranking all of my lip masks <laughs> because I'm about to be like trying a lot of them. But like I said, I'm excited about this and it looks like we have this, um, the hand carved jade spatula. I'm all for that too. I should be receiving it in PR. I did get a message from Auric asking for my updated address. So I am hoping to get this one. If not, I'd probably just buy it anyways. A lip mask is a product that I do use and I have plenty of them, but I think that it's a really cool thing to see when creators branch out and start their own thing and i know from firsthand experience not launching a makeup brand but more like my stationary company with planners and notepads and we have the new collection that's coming soon 
how hard it is, how much work goes into it, how much money goes into it. And I think it's really cool to be able to support that. So, uh, and especially being something that I know that I would use, uh, it's I'm I'm excited for it. So I'm hoping that I get this one. If not, I'll just end up purchasing it. I love the packaging, kind of like that classic Auric packaging. I love the um, the jade spatula that comes with it. I think that's a really cute touch. So congratulations to Sam and the Auric brand. And I'm hopefully we'll be testing that out soon. Of the Alta 21 Days of Beauty, I do have a video with the full calendar, all of my thoughts on it, some products that I'm planning to buy. Uh, what products I think are like really worth it for the sale. So if you want to check that out, I will link it up in the cards. The day that this video goes live, there isn't anything that super jumps out at me. The Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream, I do think that is a nice one. Their Pro Collagen line is pretty pricey. So to get uh, products for 50% off, I think that that's pretty neat. But again, uh, I have that full calendar listed out if you want to see it. And then I did also do a recent shop with me at Ulta Beauty. It didn't go so great, but if you want like some humor in your day, maybe watch that one. I did grab uh, two different Essence lip liners. So I started looking at my affiliate reports and I thought it would be fun at the end of every month to share what are the top five products that are the most sold. So again, I, I try to mention this in a lot of my videos and I have them marked with like an asterisk, but typically if I link anything in my description box, they usually are affiliate links, meaning that if you click on that link and you end up buying something through it, then I do get uh, a commission from that. So most of us uh, content creators do use that across our different platforms, YouTube and Instagram, that sort of thing. There's no extra cost to anybody or like the cost of makeup doesn't go up or anything like that for using them. It's just a, a commission on our end. The interesting part about that is, is I can see what people are buying. I can't see like, I don't know what's you that bought it. I don't get like that information. What link it is that someone clicked on, like did, was it a, from a YouTube video? Was it from an Instagram story? Which YouTube video was it? And then I see what they bought from the retailer. And it just kind of helps me know like, how are my recommendations doing? What is it that my audience is interested in right now? So I want to do that every month and show the top five and probably work it into videos somehow here too. But I thought it was really interesting for February, the top by far most repurchased, most purchased product from my audience was the Essence Lip Liners. And I was like, all right, I gotta go try these out. So I ended up buying two of them. So I have one on today and so far I really like it. First time I'm trying it, but I was like, all right, all right. And it was like $3.99, $2.99, $3.99, something like that. So I was impressed. So again, if you want to check out what ended up being a small Alta haul, I can link that video as well. We have a new eyeshadow palette coming from Too Faced. I mean, I feel like we all know what I'm about to say here, but this is the Born This Way Sunset Stripped Eyeshadow Palette. So I see that it's available now. It's $52. I just don't want to sound like a broken record, but I feel like, I feel like I'm kind of a, kind of negative in this video this week. Arr, I hate when that happens, but you know, sometimes things just aren't really like working out for you and that's okay. But Too Faced, just this doesn't look new to me. I feel like we've done this. Honestly, I probably talked about this four months ago when they announced that their summer collection was coming out like as we were getting ready for Halloween. So that's probably why it seems familiar to me. But $52, I feel like that's also more pricey than Too Faced usually is because to get, you know, a midi palette from Natasha, is $65 like I don't, know. I don't think the Too Faced quality is that phenomenal like to me I if you have the extra dollars I would say a Natasha Denona but that one is going to be a pass for me see another collection from Makeup Revolution or I'm sorry this is I Heart Revolution gotta get it right and they are doing a collection with Dr. Seuss so we have products like the Cat in the Hat eyeshadow palette, the Green Inks and Ham eyeshadow palette. There's some lip glosses. There's an eye crayon collection. There's a brush set will be available on March 18th. This, oh my gosh, I feel, I feel like such a downer in this video. I'm sure, you know, you're liking things that I'm saying I'm not liking, which is great. That's why there's so many options for all of us. But I don't, I don't, I don't. I'm not really liking this at all concept and you know like obviously like I grew up with Dr. Seuss and reading Dr. Seuss and and all of that so you know that's fun and it's like nostalgic but the strips on the palette I'm just like not into that the the eyeshadow palettes I don't know I guess like the brushes are kind of cute like thing one and thing two no that's kind of fun but 
overall for me i'm not a huge fan of iheart revolution or makeup revolution just not a huge fan but sometimes when i see these different collections like they make me do a double take because i'm like oh that's cute but then i look a little bit closer and i'm like you know Probably not for me. See a palette coming from uh, Beauty Creations, and this is the Ariel eyeshadow palette. So this is gonna be $19 and available on March 17th. It's a very large eyeshadow palette. It is pretty, I mean, it definitely reminds me of Ariel for sure, The Little Mermaid. But there's a lot, like there's, there's a handful of shades in here that it does look like it's kind of duping itself. I typically go for more smaller eyeshadow palettes. I haven't tried Beauty Creations myself, but it's pretty, it's, it's eye-catching and fun, just not something that I think I need. Over to some cheek products. So a lot of people have been talking about these cream blushes from Huda Beauty. So we have the Cheeky Tint Blush Sticks. So these are $25. A buildable and moisturizing cheek cream stick instantly melts into skin, giving you a dewy hint of tint. They're going to be $25 each. There's also the brush that comes with it for $25. Right now, I see coming soon to the website and Sephora. Mm, I'm trying to decide because I feel like I'm hearing a lot of buzz about this. Off the bat, I was just kind of like, mm, I don't know. I don't know if it's like the packaging that I don't really love or I don't even know if it to me if it really looks like put a beauty style packaging, maybe more under like the wishful line that she has. But if you'd really want to see a review on this, cause I like cream products. I like cream blushes, you know, let me know. Maybe I could snag one. I, like I said, I don't see the date yet that it's going to be coming out, but maybe I could snag one in my next Sephora haul or when the Sephora spring savings event happens, which I will be doing videos on that as well. But let me know. Didn't instantly grab me, but I would be down to try it. And then from Chanel, we have the new Illuminating Power Powder powder in Beige Rosé. A luminous powder highlight. It gives you a rosy beige glow. Um, it's going to be $80. It does include a mini kabuki brush, though. So, you know, the value is there. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, I'm just messing with you. $80 is just really expensive for a highlight. I know that there's some people who will do it, and it's beautiful like the 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 rose in there i mean obviously it's so stunning would i use that high like to me i don't know that doesn't really seem like or no it's an illuminating is this what we're doing now we're calling highlighters illuminating powders i think we discussed this in last week's will i buy it video but it's like tripping me up because it says illuminating powder then it says a highlighter and i'm looking at the brush and i'm like i feel like that brush is larger than what i would do for a regular highlighter but then it says illuminating powder it's gonna be a pass for me. I don't wear highlights all that much at this moment. You know, I always go like back and forth between what it is my makeup preferences are. Right now I'm not doing a ton of highlights, so probably wouldn't make sense for me to buy an $80 highlight. So I'm gonna pass on that. Let's see, from Westman Atelier, Westman Atelier, we have their new Bond Brow Defining Pencil. So it's a retractable pencil for the brows coming soon to Sephora. It's going to be $38. You know, this is a brand I have never tried. When I first saw this photo, I actually thought it was like shadow sticks or something along those lines. So I was a little bit surprised when I read that it is a brow pencil. Uh, you know, I have my favorite brow pencils and typically they're quite, you know, even the benefit is still like $24, but still going to be cheaper than the $38, but there's some nice affordable ones out there too. CoverGirl has a good one. Uh, the brand at Target that I use almost, like I use at least weekly and I still always forget the brand name, Arches and Halos. They have a good one. So I'm going to skip on that. I see some different lip products are coming out. So from Dior... It's Dior. We have available now the new Dior Addict Refillable Shine Lipstick. Okay, so it's refillable, 24 hour hydration, up to six hours of radiant color. So it's gonna be $39 in 14 shades. On the website, they have special cases for 28. Mm, okay, so I am a big fan of Dior, but, and I really wanted to try their like gloss, the lip oil. I think is what it's called. I've been wanting to try that one. It's been sold out forever though. But I don't really like a shine lipstick, kind of what I was saying earlier with the Pat McGrath. I like a matte lip like what I have on today. It's a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick or I like more of a gloss or an oil. But a really satiny lipstick, a really shiny lipstick, I just feel like is gonna go everywhere. I just don't like it as much on me. So, you know, the re refillable concept, I feel like a lot of brands are starting to come out with products like that, which is interesting and, you know, cool to see, but uh, I, mm, that's going to be a pass for me. 
Fenty Beauty also has a new color in their Gloss Bomb Cream Color Drip Lip. This is in Bubble Binge, which is a hot pink. So this is medium to full coverage gloss. There's no shimmer in this one, and it's $21. Uh, I haven't tried the these cream ones from Fenty Beauty. I liked the Gloss Bombs just fine, but I didn't necessarily like lose my mind over them. And I don't think I would wear this type of shade all that much. So I know that I could pass over that. It looks like Makeup by Mario has new shades in his Ultra Suede Sculpting Lip Pencil. So these are $22. I see that the new shades are coming soon. Um, I bought one of these and I like it. I think that it's a decent lip liner. It didn't instantly turn into a favorite of mine. So I don't think that I would need to pick up another shade. I think the shade probably isn't my favorite. I believe the lip liner I got was Danielle. And I think the lipstick that I got from the brand was Sam. Uh, I think that I'm saying that in the right order. And I think the lip liner is just like a little bit too pinky on me, like kind of that lighter pink that I don't wear a ton. But it was a fine lip liner. It was fine. I just don't think that I need more shades of that one. From Benefit Cosmetics, they are coming out with the Real Extreme Precision Liner. So it's their waterproof liquid eyeliner. Right now I see coming soon to all retailers, but it's available now in Europe. I don't see the price on this. Uh, is this something that I have to have? No, I have been doing a little bit more with wings recently and a little bit more with my liquid liners and mixing in some lashes, but usually a liquid liner is not something I'm purchasing unless for some reason I'm like, oh my gosh, must absolutely have that because I have a handful in my collection already that I'm pretty good with. More cheap products that I missed. I saw this on hotfire.makeup and that is that Tarte Cosmetics is coming back with their cheek stain. Originally launched in 1999, it's coming back for a limited time in three different shades. You can grab it now as an exclusive deal duo for $35 before it officially launches for $30 each. So you can get two for $35. And then they're originally 30. Is that what I'm hearing? Is that, is that what that says? Because that's a great deal, if so. Again, it kind of reminds me a little bit of the Huda Beauty. I think I would prefer to do the Huda Beauty over the Tarte, but that's that's an option, you know, kind of fun. Coming the 90s, 90s are, the 90s are coming back. Y'all, how are we feeling about flared jeans? Or just like the flared pants in general. It doesn't even have to be denim. Because I'm 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 not on board. And also the low rise. Like I I was there. I did the low rise. I have the photos to prove it. The low rise and the flares. And I just don't want to go back there. I just don't want to go back there. Curious how you all are feeling because I just keep seeing more and more pop up every day and I feel like I'm supposed to go out and buy low rise flare jeans i just am refusing right now let me know how you're feeling indie makeup spotlight i saw a new lip collection from ace pute this is the pout perfect collection so it has velvety matte liquid lipsticks satin lipsticks lip liners non-stick non-sticky glosses and also a lip oil i believe have i tried this brand i want to say yes I want to say I tried like an eyeshadow palette, but I can't tell you which one, so that could very well be a lie. <laughs> uh, but I feel like I actually have quite a few lip products right now, and I'm needing to remember to try all of them. Like I finally just tried the Wayne Goss lipstick that came in my Beautylish Lucky Bag. Then I purchased the new Natasha Denona lip products from her I Need a Rose collection. I just feel like I have a lot of lips happening at this moment so i think that i can pass over that collection but that is new from an indie brand and then i believe the last thing to finish off with is a new set that's available from beauty blender so this is the california girls blend and cleanse set it's 35 dollars. you get two makeup sponges in there and then the blender cleanser solid so i purchased a set similar to this over holiday time i think it had three sponges in there and then the cleanser Beauty, the Beauty Blender is not my favorite. I know it was included in the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty and what I had mentioned in the video is like, it's good, especially if you can get it for half off. I think that's a lot better. But there's just, to me, like better, more affordable makeup sponges out there. But sometimes these sets aren't a bad thing. And again, I really like having that cleanser in there because I do use that a lot to be able to clean all of my sponges. But that one is available now. So again, I will have all of these linked down below. Uh, just the last thing I wanted to say, just like a couple of announcements here. 
but I did uh, apply for the Sephora squad. So if you're probably seeing a bunch of creators sharing that they've applied for the Sephora squad and asking for testimonials, basically it is a year long partnership with Sephora. They choose a handful of content creators, beauty influencers, beauty enthusiasts to be a part of the Sephora squad and you get to work with brands and have, you know, video tutorials and things like that on the Sephora website. But it's a really cool partnership program um, that does a lot of really good things for content creators. Alta does something similar uh, with the Alta collective but i believe they just choose from there sephora is a little bit more public and uh, anyone can review a testimonial which just kind of goes towards um, your chances of being selected for the sephora squad so i will have my link in the description box if you have you know a three five minutes and that you would want to fill that out that is such a huge help and again not only for me but for other content creators so if you are seeing uh, people share that and you think someone would make a great fit for the Sephora squad. We all know I love Sephora So I definitely appreciate that so much I did also want to share that my March makeup madness series is back This is a series I do every single year on my channel where we play a game where we basically fill out a makeup bracket and you try to guess out of these different categories of makeup and the different products that I tried which product you think are going to be the most voted on throughout the series. So I'm doing it as a live chat. I did the first live chat last Saturday. There is also going to be a live chat this Saturday. Last Saturday I showed all of the products that are available and you get to fill out your bracket. So when you only have until this Friday, just a couple days left if you want to play the game to win prizes. There's going to be two prize boxes for this week, this year's March Makeup Madness, but you do have to get those filled out by Friday because we will start voting on Saturday. So again, I have the live chat. I will put it uh, up in the cards and link it in the description box if you want to get more details of how the game is played, how to enter, but then there will be a live chat happening once again this Saturday on my channel, and I will show the two different prize boxes. So whoever has the most correct I will win a prize and then second runner up will also win a prize this year. So wanted to mention those before we hop off, but otherwise that is it for this week's new makeup releases video. I hope you enjoyed it. I definitely want to hear your thoughts on all of these new releases because not a lot was really catching my attention this week, but sometimes that happens and my wallet is thankful for that. So other than that though, that is it. If you enjoyed this one, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.